So Dan, here we are. It feels like the end of a three-day festival, but it's just like one afternoon we've been here, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit tired, but it's fun. I like this. It's, a, it's been a good day, actually. It's a good event. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it has. So let's have a look at what you've got. And uh, it's a mixer, I believe, this year, yeah? Yeah, I, I have this, uh, this new tiny mixer uh, that I, I designed. So it's a, it's a four-channel mixer, uh, stereo with a pan. Um, and it's, um, it's made to be really clean. So it, it has a bandwidth of 150 kilohertz. So, uh, 150K? Yes, 150 kilohertz. So, wow. So I, I wanted to get um, uh, all, all the... Like everything, bats and everything. Yeah, it? well, it should be able to be super clean and um, uh, not have any, uh, what do you call it, face delays and so, and so on. Yeah. Because uh, I've had uh, some other mixes that I didn't really like that well. So yeah. everything I do is out of ne my own needs. So 150 kilohertz bandwidth. And also another thing that's, um, that I've taken care of is um, the way it's clipping if, if you're pushing it. So it has very controlled clipping at plus minus 10 volts. Um, that sounds fairly transparent. Because if you, if you put four channels stereo in and everything is five volts and you pull it up, you got effectively got 20 volts, ba basically. And then you have to have some kind of way of uh, controlling the clipping. So that's one thing. And then it also has a limiter in it, uh, which is based on my limit circuit, but slightly different, uh, as it always is. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, and that way, if you turn the limiter on, you could also push signals into it um, and get artifacts uh, by, by squashing things together. So I, I can show you what, it, what it's doing. It, it's, it's also, so it, it's a it's four, four channel uh, mono, no, stereo, I mean. But then you have these M switches here. So if you turn the M switch on, these four inputs, uh, left and right, they become um, uh, two mono inputs. So if I turn up something, oh, let's see, not that one. So like if you, if you go stereo, then you have one kick on one side and a, a very low kick on, on one side. Got you. Uh, and uh, in this case, you have uh, one time amplification full on. Uh, and if you, if you would put something in just on uh, one side, just uh, one kick, then you actually get two times amplification because left is r normal to right and right is normal to left. And if I turn if I turn the M switch on, th this thing be becomes um, a crossfader. So this way you could have uh, up to eight channels because you have an M switch for these two channels too. So you can have up to eight channels mono with crossfaders in uh, in four groups. Clever. And then. On top of this, if you, if you turn the, the limiter on, amplification through each channel increases by two. So, so then you, have, you can drive into the limiter quite a bit. And I, I can show you what that's doing. So, so if you have um, some kind of pad thing going on down here, and I pull up just a really low kick, You can hear how, how the sound is sort of ducking when, when you're compressing things together. And if I put the fairly hard kick in there too, and maybe some more. So you, you can get, get a bunch of artifacts in, in it if you want to. 
or, or you, you or you just pull things down and um, if you don't want the artifacts so so with the limiter on it's it's um, uh, it's brick wall limiting to plus minus five volts so you never get more than 14 um, db plus out of your system so g good for front of house and stuff <laughs> Yep. I thought you were talking about distortion well, it's, it, not a, it's not really distortion, it's more kind of dynamic artifacts. Well, it, it, it is actually a form of distortion because you're squashing the waves. Um, but if you do it the right way, uh, you, you can squash a wave, well, in some cases up to five times without getting uh, the feeling of uh, distortion too much. Um, because that, that's what I'm doing in my other limit module as well. So, uh, so is that by kind of rounding off? Because yeah. when you squash things yeah. rather than they being drawn down flat, yeah. kind of round off the edges of it. Uh, exactly, and, and it, it's um, it's also not not touching the signal at all until a certain level where where you have a, a couple of uh, soft knees in a row, uh, and that way you, you you squeeze it together. Nice. Uh, and, um, and okay, the, it's it's small this thing, and the the way I use this is I, I have one of these in every case I have, so I, it's it's sort of a sub mixing uh, environment, and then I pull um, signals in from all the cases to one of these, uh, and um, have that as my master sort of mixer before I'm going out, and if if I'm going mono. Then I could also have like uh, several mono systems that I am cross fading in between. So it became, becomes a very um, what would you say? Um, I can't find the, the English word. <laughs> well, it, it's a system where you can use in many ways. Yeah. So uh, basically, you're saying you need to buy at least more than one of these things. Well, you, you can buy one. And you, I, I, I want. Um, say bad things about anyone who buys more than one <laughs> <laughs> so so again it, it's uh, it's out of my my own needs uh, to, to make it as small as possible and as uh, signal wise as clean as pristine as possible so what uh, what have we got in terms of uh, connectivity on the bottom let's have a look at that S say again so it's on the connections on the bottom the, all the connections, it's, uh, I'll, I'll pull someone, one, a few out. So nice. you have uh, left and right in. So left is normal to right and right is normal to left. So you can put, put your cables in anywhere. So you have just uh, eight channels in, left and right or whatever. And then you have two channels out. Uh, and you have um, LEDs on the channels out. So if you're going non-compressed and start um, pu putting a lot of, let's see, if I put the... So I made you pull it all out now. You yeah, put it I, back I in pulled again. everything all out, but Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a, just put a kick in. So, so if you... Now, now it's um, the limiter is off. So you, you see when you're at uh, f f about five volts, and, and that is, so, so you with your eyes can sort of Go help yeah. getting the, the right levels without, uh, uh, well, get, getting any clipping if you don't want that. Sure. And, and if, if the limiters, oh yeah, sorry, I didn't have any sound on. <laughs> uh, we could see it was clipping because of the lights. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and if, if the limiter's on, you, you can, you can kind, kind of see how much it's, how much it's limiting. So if it starts flashing a little bit, it's just touching the right. signal a little bit. So, so it's a way to, um, well, yeah, useful. help mix with your eyes, yeah. sort of. Excellent, and uh, how much are they gonna be? Are, are they available now? Oh yeah, they, they've been uh, available since uh, this spring, just before Superbooth. Oh, uh, okay. And they are, Oh, let's see. In euros, I think hundred. Is it hundred and eighty, maybe? 
I, 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 close it, enough for rock and roll. Yeah, I'll do. So, yeah, I try to make it uh, not not too expensive, but there's there's lots and lots of stuff on it. <laughs> I can imagine. Knowing yeah. you, it's going to be top quality stuff too. 